Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Well, if you want to see a team playing with confidence right now, you have come to the right place because the home squad is on fire. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Canucks get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Moves it to the middle, and that's blocked in front. And that's broken up. Quick feed to Sadine. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Dubnik's been great to start this season. I mean, he's got an excellent save percentage. His team's been winning games, and he starts another one with an incredible save. Dishes it to champion. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Here's a pass in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. With the stop. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. Minnesota's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Dempo's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Moves the puck along the half wall. Silverberg's got it for the neutral zone. Sends the feed in front. to that puck and when you skate onto it you have some speed you can get that shot off the way you want and he capitalizes perfectly minnesota's come to play look at that a quick goal here just minutes in well it's all about getting the start that you want james and that doesn't always mean a goal it means being heavy in on the floor check establishing pressure capitalizing on their opportunity that's a bonus and they do it early in the frame and he passes it up ahead to bertuzzi good use of the body on the play he knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone, and that's why... Big time save! Oh, my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time, it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Well, they always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save, that's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Minnesota's been the better team to this point, and the stats show it. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Demko's last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it was a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him. Puck scooped up by Silverberg. Hammers it on net. Oh, big time save by Demko. Too much congestion in front. Oh, huge open ice hit. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. And look at this. They really ratcheted up the intensity here. Oh, it stays out. What a save. What an incredible save in the high-danger scoring area. I mean, right in the spot is in perfect position to make that club save. Pedersen's got that snipe zone ability. His shots are so accurate when the puck is flat and ready for him. Brandlin's quick draw zone ability means he has the edge in the face-off circle and can win possession for a side. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can beat their team the edge. Now back to you. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Take it along the wall by Van. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. There's a collision. And they come away with possession here on their own end. And they skated out of the danger zone. Oh, my, you could feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. And he takes the feed. Fan 
appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save and everyone around you is appreciative. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stick save. He's known for his incredible quickness. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back to back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. Oh, James, I just love this goal. It shows all the elements in the game of hockey. You have to have spatial awareness. You have to have your head up to know exactly where you want to move the puck before you do. And this is a perfect example as he is stumbling and recognizes that he's got to get that stick to puck and move that pass right to the open player. Immediately does it. And as a result, it's in the back of the net. And they win that neutral zone draw. The Canucks have it against the wall. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Don't forget the team store, always accessible online 24 7. Uh, you can also check out the team store in the arena as well, open seven days a week. Picks up the puck in his own end. Heatley's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And he takes the dish. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Canucks have it now. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Takes a shot. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Niskanen's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Minnesota's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. Scooped up along the wall by Prosser. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Quick pass to Kane. Oh, that goes off his helmet. Hopefully he's okay. Kane's back in the lineup after rehabbing his injury, and he's quick to create some offense there with that nice, dangerous shot. More than half the period has expired. Minnesota's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. A little back and forth. Sends the pass over. Moves it to Suter. And the save. And the puck's knocked loose. And loses possession after a solid hit. Moves it on over to Silverberg. And that's knocked away by Brown. Looks to set up at the point now. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Putting the hard hat on. Here, what a hit. And that's poked away by Prosser. And that's broken up. Stopped by the goaltender. Minnesota's looked great thus far, leading here late in the first period. And they win the draw here in their own end. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Fires it into the offensive zone. Slides the puck over. And now he moves it quickly to Johns. Fires it on net. Moves the puck to Besser. Stretches one out to Champion. Receives the pass. Chase in front. Couldn't complete the pass. And some good footwork to kick it away. Takes the feet at the back end. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. And he takes the pass. Makes the save. Here's a centering pass. Denies that great opportunity there. Here's a shot. Well, the play might.
might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. for the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Depth is the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Sedin. The Canucks carry it along the wall. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. From the left wing, takes the feed. Quick feed to Niskanen. Makes the save on the slapper. Quick pass to Niskanen. Oh, I thought he had it. What a chance there. Oh, James, I thought he connected on that one. He's going to be disappointed, but he's all around the net. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Picked off by Burns. And he takes the feed. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Passes on over to Bertuzzi. The Canucks take it along the wall. And that's a great heads up play by Niskanen. Over the line they come. Moves it to Silverberg. Shot! And that goes off a player in front. Now over to Giordano. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Drills them. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. Great read on the block. Oh, and it makes a save. Just got enough to keep it out. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Minnesota's got a 2-0 lead. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Stop that one. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Grabbed along the boards by Skidnichka. Stalls taking it from his own end. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Moves it to Besser. Oh, and that'll make his teammates take notice on the bench after that hit. Slides the puck down low. Loses his balance on the play. Handles the pass. Moves it around along the half wall. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Quick pass across to Besser. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. From the point, looks to make something happen. Denied by Tempo. Gains the zone on the left wing. Slides it diagonally to Heatley. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Makes his presence known on the ice. Moves it quickly over to Garland. The Wild have taken possession of their own end. Minnesota's on the attack. Fires it. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Demko. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Past the midway mark of the frame, 2-0 is the score. Michaels won the draw, and they're on the attack. Stars! Make it three in a row, and they're coming now. Well, they certainly are three in a row. They've got their points on their heels. It is a flame. You can feel it. The energy every single shift. They're getting it in. Well, this is a play it looks like they worked on practice. You get the win, and then the quick release shot buries it home. The Wild have had 
looked this sharp offensively in a while, Cheryl. This is really impressive. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun to watch. I'm sure it's a lot of fun for them as well. They're showing a lot of patience with the puck. And when they're patient, their feet are continually moving. They're not static. And because of that, they're creating lots of opportunities to take it to the net. Here's a chance to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Minnesota's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Michael's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Here he is in front. Scores! Break out the clutch here on the steal because that's four unanswered. Well, it's incredible. You can tell that they are moving and shaking. They're getting the puck going north. They're transitioning. So fast, and man, do they have their opponent on their heels. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Wild have been simply playing a game of pad to stats tonight, and we're still only in period number two. And the coach is going to love this all-encompassing performance so far, James. It's all about the possession, though. They get the puck, they hold on to it, and they do something with it. Real effective game. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Vancouver's got the puck. The Canucks are playing from the defensive zone. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Niskanen. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. And some textbook body contact there. Champions moving it ahead. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. More than half the frame has been played here. Minnesota's turned this into a blowout, now leading by four. Koigu's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Minnesota's in transition. Lights him up into the boards. And it's a much-needed whistle for the injured player who's down on the ice. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. You're going to take a penalty. You might as well take your opponent with you as they both march to the box. A little four-on-four -four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Four-on-four four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense has the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Grabs the puck at center. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. On the attack along the boards. Shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Minnesota's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. They win the draw and go on the attack. Great stop by Demko. Here's a short pass to Champion. Denies him! Demko's the hole over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. On the doorstep, backhander. It's in! They score! It takes a deflection off a skated in! Well, at first I wasn't sure if it went directly in, but it did it. Redirected off of the skate. This is a tough break. If you're the defensive team, you're in good position. Just trying to box out, and the next thing you know, it's in the back of your net. And that goal just lit a fire under the bench, James. Anytime you play with energy, it can be contagious, and it's shift by shift that you can drive your teammates forward. He's a leader, and he found a way to get his team on board. Vancouver's got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James, and that's something to build off. When you get a goal, you can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. A crystal play with the puck check, and it pays off. Picked up along the boards by Brandlin, and that doesn't reach the net. 
takes the return feed. Rocks him. And that's intercepted by Prosser. Now he takes it over the line. He got all of that one. And he coughs it up with the pass. Minnesota's in on the offensive attack now. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Takes a wrist shot. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. And somehow he hangs on. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Well, that play didn't go his way, James. He tried a little bit too much there. When you're trailing in the game, I get you want to try and do a little bit extra and try and create some offense, but unfortunately, that didn't work out. Centering feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Hughes is the leader of this team. He is their captain. They've been behind the eight ball, behind all game. They've got to find a way to get back with this offensive zone faceoff. One goal can create some momentum. There's the horn, two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Hope you're having a great night, two periods down. One more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving face at one end of the ice. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Vancouver's got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent has really dominated possession because of it. They've been chasing the game. They've got to do something when they get the puck, and they've got to be confident with it. And he's going to cover up the puck and get a whistle. That's a great read by the goaltender to hold on, James. They were under siege in their own zone. Now they have an opportunity to reset, refocus, and get back on their horse. Minnesota's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Makes the move in close. Oh, what a stop by Demko. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Dishes it to Silverberg. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. The Wild have possession along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Koibu. Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. Demko's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Lots of time left in this period. 4-1 is where we sit. A pretty one-sided affair. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Across the line and on the attack. Now a quick pass to Silverberg. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Granlin. Here's a chance. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Good check, frees the puck up. Drives to the paint. Decides to think about it. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Swats it out of midair. And there's the save. Dubnik's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Suter's going to have to keep his head up, James. I mean, he caused that injury on hometown player, and the crowd is frustrated, and they're booing every time he touches the puck. And he slides it quickly to Besser. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Pominville's having himself a game, James. I mean, he's already got a goal. Puck's on his stick and really looking to do some more damage. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Oh, what a hit on the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick.
Minnesota's played arguably their most complete game of the season based on how they have delivered shots on net and lead here big time in the third. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. From the back of the cage, with the puck. it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Montreal's up next and no love lost between these two sides. A few tickets still available I'm told, so you better get them before they're gone. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Denies that opportunity. Goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive and taking away any of the net. to the corner, getting it out of danger. Handles the pass at center. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Minnesota's been so impressive tonight. They're stealing pucks. They're finding ways to put them in, and it's been a blowout. Coach has got to be impressed. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Puck grabbed by Besser. 
A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Here's the pass down low. Moves the puck up to Koivu. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. And it's a quick pass to Besser. There's another hit. And you get a sense that this was a game plan to go after him tonight here, Cheryl. Well, he certainly has a bullseye or target on his back, James. Scores! Off the one time out. Well, he's set up with a perfect pass, but he gets lost in coverage, gets all of that one. Perfect weight transfer and executes with a beauty. I feel sorry for the defenders here. When you see your opponent coming over the blue line with that kind of speed and open ice, it is so difficult to get in front of that shot. It has seen blisters home. The Wild have shown no let up here in this third period, continuing to accelerate forward. When you look over the scoreboard, it's lopsided and for good reason, James. They've dominated the play. I mean, it has been tilted in one direction in their favor. They've known when to attack the net. They've been so strong on the puck, and you know that the coach is going to be thrilled with this one. Came up with the save on that play. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Pedersen's got my vote in this game, guys. Neither player we talked about earlier has been able to get on the board, but despite that, I think he's been engaged and worked hard out there. Angles it over to Sadine. Oh, huge hit against the wall, and you know about that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. What a steal in his own end. Takes the cross-ice pass. The Canucks with big time hit against the wall there. Wow, that was a tough one, man. That was thunderous, and it even broke a pane of glass. There's going to be a stoppage in play here. Minnesota's put in one of the most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. A big time in this third.